Hiya, so it says question for you, and it says starting with y equals log x, show that dy by dx is 1 over x. That's not a question for you, that's proper full on. Right, I'm going to run through it, because it's really, really messy. So I'm going to start off with log x, and I'm going to say, okay, if I take e of both sides, then e to the y is x. And now what I'm going to do, because I've been doing in this whole letter, differentiating to get dx by dy, uh, I'm going to use x equals e to the y, and I'm going to find dx by dy. So dx by dy will just be e to the y, like that. So dy by dx is 1 over e to the y, but I know that x is equal to e to the y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the e to the y on the bottom with an x. So what I get then is dy by dx is 1 over x, and that's done it. It's a little bit faffy because I change it to x equals with an e, and then I change it back from e back to x. Well, that's not a question for you, that's a thing. Now that, that it's like that's a proof for doing it, and you can do it for y equals log ax. So if you want to give yourself a challenge, Try it with y equals log a of x and see if you come out with a over ax, which then cancels down to 1 over x. And then we could try it, if you wanted to, with log of ax plus b. And you should end up with an a over ax plus b. So these are like little challenging things if you want to have a go yourself. So you can do harder ones for it. Right, there we go. So example three then. So it says, find in terms of x, so we've got to find dy by dx, y, okay. Arc cos and arc sine is just the inverse, so sine to the minus 1, cos to the minus 1. So what I've really got is sine to the minus 1 of x. So if I rearrange it, if I move the sine over, I've got sine y is x. So I want to differentiate x equals sine y. So you remember, whenever you're differentiating sine or cos, always draw the little clock face, which I'm convinced I invented, but probably didn't, because somebody probably randomly showed me. So sine goes to cos, there. So I want dy by dx in terms of x though. So my dy by dx is 1 over cos y, but at the moment it's in terms of y, and I want it in terms of x. Now look, this bit is proper messy. Are you happy that 5, oh, I've done that with change over to the right button, there, 5, is the square root of 5 squared. If you are, you should be happy then that cos is the square root of cos squared. Change that. That would be great for danger, really, then. There. So if you were happy that 5 is the same as the square root of 5 squared, some people would argue with the plus or minus for that one, but then by cos y is the same as the root of cos squared y. But I know, because I want it in terms of, um, what do I want it in terms of? I want it in terms of x, and the only thing I've got with an x in it is sine y, so I need to make this in terms of sine y. So I'm going to use sine squared y plus cos squared y is 1. So I'm going to be a pretty sneaky with this. And this is actually, in the old textbooks, this just used to be um, a proof that you had. You never had to, you just had to use it. In fact, at one point, they said, oh, no, don't bother using it at all. 
but this is our new one, it's all a little bit harder. So we've kind of seen this on, um, on further maths. And we'd use it on further maths, but it's on our scheme now, so we just have to be able to use it. This proof is here in case they give you the proof with an error. You've got to try and follow it through just to see if you can find the error. Right, so going back to my witterings. So I've got something now in terms of sine, which is good. So I'm going to use x is sine y. So x squared is sine squared. So I'm going to replace the sine squared down here on the left with an x squared. So what I get is dy by dx is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And like I said, that never ever used to be on the normal maths. It was in the textbook, but you never did it. It was something that was done on further maths. But there has been a question where you've kind of had to use it, or, or at least appreciate it. But it could be that they give you an error, could write it out with an error, and you've got to find the error. So I'll have a go at this one with a cos one. I'll show it. Um, it's probably missing a few steps. Uh, no, it's not, is it? But you can see that one there. That, that leap there is massive. And then I go back to using from there to there. I'm using x is cos y. There. Okay. Right, I'm six minutes now, aren't I? I wonder if it's time to do the next one. Oh no, that's it. Is that, is that it? Example three. So what? My pack looks slightly different to yours. Got an extra question in here. Right, so that's the end of that first lesson then. Do you know what? It's really nice. I really like the the, the trig like trig proof, trig differentiation. Uh, you know, it's pretty full on. But, you know, it's nice. It's nice to do. Right, we're done.